So we've gone through and compiled a list of some apps, but a few that I want to highlight are um, First Date Studios at WGBH Boston has created a series of apps called Gracie and Friends, and it's an early math initiative. And these are fantastic apps, and one of the reasons that they're fantastic is they are backed by research, both in content and usability. And it shows when you look at the app. It uses different features of the tablet. It's not just touching and dragging, it's tilting the iPad back and forth, and I really think that's really fun. And it also gets kids um, just engage with the outside world. Um, they have a series of science apps coming out uh, next year, which we'll see that happen a lot in those apps. I also really like an app called Endless Alphabet, and they have a series with endless reader, endless numbers, but I've had great um, success with this app. I'm using it with my nieces and other family and, um, and friends, and it's really great because when you t hold down on a, a letter, it makes the, and the letter noise, so la 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 when you're holding the L, but if you let go, the noise stops. I really like that because you're having to engage with the letter and you're hearing it as you're engaging with it. And so, and then they have other great things with it too and it's really fun, has great graphics, great little music and kids really like it. Um, I heard a two and a half year old for the first time um, who, is who is struggling with some language delays uh, make those uh, letter sounds for the first time after playing that app and her parents and I were reduced to tears from that. It was a really beautiful experience. Another great thing um, that's kind of coming out now as technology increases is a combination of real life physical toys with the tablet. And Osmo is an example of this where you can actually have, um, it's an kind of add-on to the tablet and you play with real life toys and you see it happening on the screen. So I think that that has a lot of great potential. In terms of eBooks, our lab really likes the Nosy Crow series. Um, they have books such as Parker Penguin and we like it because they use hotspots and they use different features to enhance the story content and educational um, goals.